26, and we're going to be reading from verse 1 to 13. So that's Isaiah 26, I will be reading from verse 1 to 13. Amen. Praise God. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, um, so that's Isaiah 26. I will read from the KJV. In that day shall the song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high, the lofty city, he layeth it low. It low. He layeth it low even to the ground, he bringeth it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. Though most high, though, though most upright, thus weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Lord, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see and be ashamed for their envy at the people. Yea, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou hast wrought all our works in us. O Lord, our God, our other lords beside thee have had dominion over us, but by thee only will we make mention of thy name. Amen, everybody. And I just want to read the verse 3, which is why I, um, I chose it. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Amen. So we're just going to pray right now. And the prayer request are for sister, sister Thomas and family. We're going to be praying for them because her son got shot yesterday. So we'll be praying for the Thomas family. And we'll also just be praying for the proceedings of the service that, you know, God will teach us something different, that God will just do something. Because, you know, there's so many sides to him, and we just want to keep on finding out more and more about him. So I just want it to be that we pray that we'll see something different about God today. Amen? Okay, so let's pray. Mighty God, as we come before you, I just want to give you thanks and I give you the praise and the glory and the honor. You are awesome, mighty God. You are our friend. You are our father. You are our protector. You are our deliverer. Mighty God, there's no one like unto you, none to be compared unto you. Jesus, we just want to thank you for giving us the opportunity once more just to be here and just to worship. We didn't have to have this day. We didn't have to come here. We didn't have to find a drive. We didn't have to find a bus fare or the gas money or whatever, Lord Jesus. And we didn't have to have the strength to walk here, mighty God, but you gave that all to us. Lord Jesus, I just want to thank you for the new things that you're going to reveal to us. Mighty God, I just want to pray that you will help our minds today and the, for the rest of our lives just to be stayed on you. I pray, mighty God, that you will empty us from, from distractions, that you will empty us from carnality. Mighty God, you will empty us from envy, Lord God, and from doubt, Lord Jesus, and that you will just fill us up with faith. I pray, mighty God, that we'll fall more in love with you today, Lord Jesus, than we were in love with you yesterday. I pray, Lord God, that you will touch the Thomas family. 
Lord Jesus, that they are going through a very hard time, I'm sure. The news, Lord Jesus, must have been something that they would have never expected. I don't think anybody would have ever expected that, mighty God. And I just want to pray that you will just cover them, Lord God, and you will just be in the house, Lord Jesus, or the houses, mighty God, with them. That Jesus, when they cry, mighty God, they will cry unto you. Lord Jesus, that when they are angry, that they will turn their anger towards you, Lord God, and to just be honest about how it is that they are feeling. And I pray, mighty God, that you will impart your comfort, mighty God, as you promised, Lord Jesus, that you are the comforter. I pray, Lord God, that you will show yourself in their lives, Lord Jesus, that they won't depend on any other person, Lord Jesus, but you, mighty God, in this hard time. And I pray that they will trust you, mighty God, that, his, that their son, Lord God, will just come out of this in, with a testimony that mighty God, he will see, Lord Jesus, where it was you that would have saved his life, mighty God. And I pray that the persons who would have shot him, mighty God, that they will be caught, Lord God, and they will be put to justice, Lord God, according to your will. I just want to pray right now that you will just bless our minds, Lord God, and just help us to worship you sincerely. That we won't watch anybody, mighty God, that our eyes will just be stayed on you, Lord God, that we'll just be honest, that we'll just pour out everything that will come with our worship. Lord Jesus, and to give that unto you, and I pray that everything that we do will be pleasing unto you. I pray that the testimonies, Lord God, will be pleasing, that the offering will be pleasing. I pray that the, the songs that we sing will be pleasing, and the preaching, Lord God, that will be pleasing, Lord Jesus. And if we need prayer, that we'll ask for it, Lord God. If we need to do something out of the ordinary, that we will do it, mighty God. And we'll see, Lord Jesus, how it is that you show up. Lord God, in our situations. I just want to thank you once again for everything I'm about to do and what you have already done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Somebody just lift your hands and just give God a praise. Give him a wave offering. Give him something. Say something. Open your mouth right now. And just say something to him. We bless your name, Jesus. We love you. We honor you. We adore you. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none beside you. None to be compared to you. You are God all by yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise your name. We praise your name. And your name is Jesus. Hallelujah. It's so good to be in the house of God another time. Amen. Just to lift up his name and give him glory. Though we are few in numbers. Amen. Little is much. <laughs> Amen. And I believe that there's a blessing. Amen. With our names written on it. We are here today. Irrespective of the weather. We are here today. I want to encourage us to just pull out everything. Forget about everything. And let us give God something today. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. I greet you. I greet you in the congregation. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Many of the folks stayed home today. I greet those who are streaming today. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Come just lift your hands one more time. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. Jesus. What do you think about Jesus? He's all right. What do you think about Jesus? He's alright. What do you think about Jesus? He's alright. He's alright. 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 What do you think about Jesus? He's alright.
Oh, praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody just shout a praise. One more time. Amen. You may be seated. As we invite Ella Martin to come. He's going to be greeting our visitors, greeting the congregation, and saints alike. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Mm. I know we can do. We can do better than that. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. You know, one of the things I like about church, praise God. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 20, that where two or three are gathered together, touching anything concerning him is in their midst. It means then that irrespective if there's only few persons here today, normally we'd have a full house. But it doesn't matter. For where two or three are gathered together, we're able to have church. Isn't that good? Another thing I'm happy for is that we serve a God who is not confined to time, matter, or space. It means that the storm couldn't stop him, the rain couldn't stop him, and if we were at home, we could have still worship God. And the fact that we are here, we can worship God. Isn't that a good thing? He sits outside of time. He's omnipresent. He's omniscient. He's omnipotent. And we serve that God. Can you lift your hands one more time in the presence of our King? Everybody, begin to worship Him. God, we thank you this morning. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. There's none like unto you. You are the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God. God, God, my God, and the fact that we are here in his presence one more time, we chance the rain by faith, amen, we can't come here and sit down, amen, the fact that a lot of people couldn't make it, but you chance the rain and we are here, let us give God our best, our best, our best, so one more time, out of a heart of gratitude, can we just close our eyes, everybody, and begin to worship the King of Kings, God, we magnify you today we exalt you we give you glory hallelujah 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 you're excellent in all the earth hallelujah praise god praise god praise god praise god praise the lord everybody praise the lord everybody amen praise god i'm here to greet the visitors. Is there anybody here who is visiting for the first, second, or third time? Could you please just stand? Stand if you're visiting. Praise God. What a God. What a God. I don't know. It, 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 just, it just shows how blessed we are. Because irrespective of the weather, person still come out and we want to greet you thank you for coming thank you for coming we are at faith chapel we are faith chapel of faith apostolic ministries we want to thank you for coming and we pray god that you will be blessed today in the service feel free to worship if you don't know the songs you know i don't know the songs but feel free to worship and to sing and to give god your best today god there's a blessing in store for you god bless you god bless you god bless you, you maybe seated all the saints who are here i see brother carl you want to shout a praise? <laughs> Brother Vimonti? Brother Vimonti? <laughs> My God, I've not seen this man in ages. You want to shout a praise? What <laughs> God be the glory to God be the glory. Praise God. And the rest of saints that are here, can we shout a praise together? The Bible says we must enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Amen. It means that, you know, one of the, the, the advantages that they have in Israel is that they could have, you know, the first and the outer court place, they come in and they bring the, the sin things and they begin to enter into his court. They know that they serve a God who forgives their sin and is able to wash them and to make them cleanse again. And we are in his presence one more time. Is there anybody who wants to enter into his gates with thanksgiving? Give God a thanks. Your best thanks. Your best thing. 
The fact that you're alive and well, the fact that you're in his presence. Give God your best, your best, your best praise. My God, my God. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. And one last time, one last time, one last time. Praise God. You know, persons who are watching online, I know we're having some problems, so they'll probably see it later. But for everybody who will tune in, I want to thank you for tuning in to Faith Chapel. And I pray, God, that you will be blessed by the worship, blessed by whatever takes place, blessed by the word. Amen. I will believe that God has a real word for us today. Praise God. I mean, you can't leave your house and just come for nothing. God has a word for us. Somebody say a word. A word. Amen. 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 So one last time, lift your hands, everybody, everywhere. I begin to thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. There's one song we could sing. It says, Hallowed be your name. My D flat. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be. Hallelujah. Let's lift your hands and begin to worship. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Lord and majesty, divine authority. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name Hallowed be your name one more time oh, Hallowed be your name Hallowed be your name Hallowed be your name Hallowed be your name Hallowed be your name. Lord and majesty. Divine authority. Divine authority. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Lord and majesty. Lord and Majesty, Lord and Majesty, Divine Authority, Divine Authority, Hallowed be your name, Hallowed be your name. One more time, Lord and Majesty, Divine Authority. Divine authority. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Praise God. And in the attitude of worship, can we just whisper the name of Jesus one time? Can we whisper the name of Jesus one time? Mm. My God. One more time, one more time. Listen, you see, when we say the name of Jesus, demons tremble. When we say the name of Jesus, chains are broken. When we say the name of Jesus, situations are changed. Hallelujah. Can we say the name of Jesus one more time? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. One more time. Jesus. We glorify you. We honor you. Elder Bailey, we magnify you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hey. hallelujah, at this time we'll be having our announcements, I want to invite Sister Bailey to come, give us the announcement. Bless the Lord everyone. 
Bless the Lord Jesus one more time. Is it a privilege to be in the house of the Lord? Yes, it's raining on the outside, but worship on the inside. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, great God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And this morning, you will notice that our seniors are in. But I'm going to ask those that are maybe midway or somewhere there, Sister Dawn, can you just come and give a praise for me, followed by Sister Mahon. Just a praise for the Lord right up here. Sister Dawn, Sister Myers. Glory to the most high God, Obia Jaira. Praise God, praise God. So they are not really my senior seniors, but uh, I, I'll you tell you don't really see these persons sometimes up here, but they are here. So they are sitting in for the seniors this week. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, I just want to give you thanks this morning for life. Lord Jesus, it is not a right, it is a privilege to be alive. And I just want to say thank you. Jesus. Praise God. And Sir Palmer, my apology. That Sister Palmer, she's Paulette Mahon Palmer. She was married Palmer, but I still <laughs> remember Mahon's. It's all right. Praise God, praise God. This morning, our announcements for today are as follows. This Tuesday, Visionaries at 3.30, and this is via Zoom, and we're asking all our students to be a part of Zoom. Log on, bring a friend. There is something for you to participate in, and you can know and learn more about Almighty God. Wednesday is our regular day, regular day of fasting and prayer. We're asking us all, we don't want to wait until we have a situation on hand. That's when we are running and seeking to go fast. Let's pack these up and put them before God so little from this when we can't. You know, we can say, God, just remember me. And he look at those vials of fasting and prayers sitting there from us. We go into a prayer meeting at 6 o'clock on Wednesday via Zoom, which is followed by our Bible study premiere at 7 o'clock. Join in and hear the word of Almighty God. This Thursday at 6.45 p.m. is our choir practice. All choir members are expected to be there. Praise God, praise God. This Friday is youth service and we begin at 6 30 as we continue the series on the gifts and the fivefold ministry all are invited it's youth service but all are invited it actually means the youths are in charge praise god also this friday does anyone know what is this friday let me hear you jerk oh somebody said eat 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 friday so it's jerk friday and our jerk friday is towards our building fun brethren saints friends neighbors communities we are seeking your support and we really 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 need you on this venture ah uh, pour out you if you give to god you is a debtor to no man so come and support Start putting in your orders. Start putting in your orders today. It's this Friday. You know, I happen to be at the office on Friday, just Friday gone, and a gentleman walked in and said, everything finished? He was there for Jerk Friday. Apparently, he got the dates mixed up, so I know he will be ready for this Friday. Hallelujah. Persons... Right, so if you are interested in supporting the jerk, please, Jerk Friday, please leave your name on your way out. Do not leave and say you'll call the office in the week and then you get caught up with other things. And you are being advised, please, please, please don't put your orders in 
and don't turn up to pick them up. It's not like we can say, okay, it's a trophy and you can collect it next Sunday. Right? So once you put the orders in, we are going to be catering for you. And at that time of the evening when you don't turn up, more than likely there's no one for it to be sold to and that's a loss. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And for Friday, we are also seeking volunteers. Uh, are you here? Can you give a little of your time to the Lord? Help to serve. If you can't serve, maybe you can push a little coal under the jerk chicken. Maybe you can wash a few pans or pots, label some lunch boxes, whatever it is. We need your assistance. We need your assistance, brethren. You may be saying, I'm at church and I have nothing to do. We need your help. We need your help. Will there be any stars in my crown? The Lord will bless us for whatever it is that we do in his house. We are seeking your help for this Friday. And once you finish your jerk Friday, we have a three-day fast coming up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Our fasting begins October 21 to 23. Did it say October 21 to 23? October 21 to 23. And we're asking all to be a part of this fasting. If you are sick, if you are lame, if you are alt, if you are blind, whatever it is. What if you are sick, whatever you can give to God, he knows your heart. If you are on medication and your faith is high enough to be a part of our fasting, go ahead. If you can do a half day, go ahead. God will, God will appreciate it. Praise God. And the, the first Sunday in October is our double attendance drive, which is next Sunday, October 2nd. It says, bring a soul and win a soul. Don't want when you get to heaven and the persons are receiving their crowns and you're like, um, and it's their stars in their crown. You're like, why didn't I get any? You did not go out in the vineyard to win a soul. So we are encouraging you to bring a soul, bring a soul, double attendance drive. You just never know. Sometimes we're afraid to witness. You may be afraid to witness, invite them to church invite them to church praise god praise god and at this time i um, just want to remind us that um just remember to pray for beverly murphy she needs deliverance and asking for our prayers uh the funeral service for brother irving will be that's brother andy will be this saturday at fellowship apostolic 16 Camp Road at 9 a.m. Interment at Bamboo St. Anne. Persons interested in going to the funeral service in supporting Sister Willby and F Sister Willby and family can contact Sister Erica Redman or the office. So the funeral service is for Sister Willby's husband. So we want to support her and her family in this time of bereavement. And just before I leave, um, the Family Life Ministry has an announcement, and I now invite brother and the sister. God bless you. Brother and sister Stewart. They are new in the business, and we want them to keep it going. Praise the Lord, everybody. All right, so we will be doing the marriage anniversaries for the month of September. All right, so marriage is the intimate union of a man and a woman. It comes to us from the hand of God, who created male and female in his image. 
so that they might become one body. Marriage is both a natural institution and a sacred union because it is rooted in the divine plan of creation. We thank God for marriage and are excited as today we recognize three of our couples celebrating their anniversary in September. Praise God. When you hear your name, please stand so we can acknowledge you. If you are here. Praise God. Franklin and Marcia Morrison. Praise God. September 15, 2007, and they are going 15 years. Ian and Tamika Graham, September 16, 2001, 21 years. Deacon Alvin Boucher and Margaret Boucher, September 14, 1991. And they are going 31 years. All right. So, you see, because they are the only couple that is here, so I'm going to ask Sister Boucher, Deacon Boucher, stand right here. Praise the Lord, everybody. All right, so representing all married couples, married in September. I want Sister Boucher to tell Brother Boucher something nice, and Brother Boucher, you will do the same. <laughs> so, you guys want them to come to the center? All right, come to the center. And the church needs to hear loud and clear. No scripture. Well, my husband, my teddy bear, I love you. I really love you. You are such, I tell you, this man is very helpful. I mean, I don't know of any other husband like like my husband I'm telling you sometimes when I would say all right all right just leave whatever now I will deal with it or just let it stay man not till another time no he has to get it done and when he come out to the house chores and so on he's just there to help there's no other person like my husband and I love him so much for putting up with me all these 31 years just keep doing all your best Oh Lord, praise God, praise God, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, worship, 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 it's all worship. about worship. No scripture. So Bishop, Bishop troubling me or not, it's all right. I just want to say to Margaret, my lovely wife for um, 31 good years. I can say she's my best friend. And I, if I could do it over, I would do it again. I don't have no regrets because God has put us together and I would do it over again. 31 years, over again. You know, I want to tell you, thank you for putting up with me. Sometimes I give you trouble. She gave me trouble as well. So we both give each other trouble. But thank you for keeping and taking care of me. God bless you. Woo! <laughs> so thank you guys. You represented well. All right. So the quote of the month is, don't give up. Great things take time. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And they say church boring. Church not boring. Deacon, they change the name to Deacon Teddy. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. 
isn't it good to be alive and to be saved to be a part of this glorious body amen just one addition to the announcement while the ushers prepare themselves to come it does feel in my heart that somebody have a song on their heart I just feel like somebody have a song to minister all right you see the bishop says somebody have a song amen but just one addition to the announcement if you are interested to give up your time this Friday to help with our jerk Fridays, right? I want you to call this number and just, you know, let Sister Clark know that, you know, you're interested. 214-4790. You're interested to help this Friday with our jerk Friday? Amen. 214-4790. Thank you. God bless you. Let me invite ushers to come while my brother Stuart will minister for us. Amen. Just bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we bless your name right now. We honor you. We praise you. We give you thanks, mighty God, for blessing our, us with finances lord we pray that as we give back a portion of what you have given us that you will bless it that you will multiply it and that you will use it to accomplish what you will in your house we ask that you bless every hand that stretched forth to give and bless that every heart who, who is willing to give but is not able to give right now we pray that you will bless them that they will have in due time to give to your kingdom let your will be done right now as we give you thanks in jesus name Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise him one more time. Why? Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was nailed to the cross. The earth shook by an earthquake. The veil ran from top to the bottom. And the earth was open to many of the saints' body arose. Marching on in Jerusalem Testify he died on the cross And he shall rose again Down in the grave they have laid him He was in that dark domain Or from the grave he arose Yet he tears the bars away With a mighty triumph And he rose from the Heard three night and day, he taught him the saying that was left. Yes, he was nailed to the cross. The earth shook by an earthquake. The veil ran from top to the bottom, and the tomb was open too. Yes, many of the saints' body arose, marching on in Jerusalem. Testify he died on the cross. And he shall rose again Down in the grave they have laid him He was in that dark domain Or from the grave he arose Yet he tears the bars away With a mighty triumph And he rose from the grave In the earth three night and day Talking the same that was them Yes Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Him. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Jesus. I praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus rose from baptism, led up the Spirit in the wilderness. He was tempted of the devil, come on stone to be made bread. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Yes. Oh, Jesus rose from baptism. Led up the spirit in the wilderness. He was tempted of the devil. Come on, stone to be made bread. Get behind me, you Satan. Don't 
to know that I am here After forty day and night The heroes to Jerusalem We will take him up in the temple Tell him to cast thyself down Thy angel will bear thee up As thy foot don't touch a stone He show him all the worldly pleasure Don't you tempt the Lord thy God, only him you must serve. Yet yeah, Jesus rose from Mount of Olive to the temple in Jerusalem. He prayed behind the temple, they selling sheep and dove. Oh Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Oh, this is my song today, this is my, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, Jesus rose from Mount of Olives to the temple in Jerusalem. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, praise God. Praise Him. 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 Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God, I worship Jesus, I worship Him, I glorify Him, I, hallelujah, I worship Jesus. He goes on to all of us, all of us, Jesus, I worship you, Lord, I worship you. Jesus' name, Jesus' name. Oh, this is my word in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Just lift your hands one more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's just sing one song. We have some babies to be dedicated. Let us just sing one song before we... The song says, keep me through, Lord Jesus, keep me through. Keep me through, Lord Jesus, keep me through. Keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me through. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So before we sing the song, we have two baby dedication. We have Auckland Matthew Robinson. Can the parents come forward with him? And we have Skylar Harper and Eva Nugent. Praise God. And we are all going to be dedicating these to the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Would the parents come forward, please? Praise God.
praise God. And can I just invite everybody just to stand, please? Because this is a very solemn moment. And this is something that we don't take lightly. Praise God. Praise God. Have your Bibles. Just turn with me to Deuteronomy 6. I'll be reading from 3 to 9. That's Deuteronomy 6 from 3 to 9. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God of thy fathers has promised thee in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words, which I command thee this day, shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets, between thine eyes and thou shalt write them upon the poles of thy house and on thy gates and let me just take time out to congratulate both parents respectively for the birth of their children and you have done a noble thing in dedicating these little children unto the Lord and I want to encourage us and encourage you all that in all your ways, just acknowledge God. Pray with them. Have fellowship with them. Sing with them the Lord's song. And you will see what the Lord will do. So congratulations to you. God richly bless you. Mother and father, God bless you. Congratulations to the fathers. It's good that you have seen them out. You know, God bless you. And the family, by extension, and relatives and friends, God bless you all. Praise God. So we're going to be dedicating them unto the Lord. And I ask of you that you just partner with us as we dedicate them. Everybody, you can just stretch your hand in this direction. We're going to do that in Jesus' name. Praise God. Let's all unite in prayer. Everyone, we're going to dedicate them to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Glory be your name, Jesus. We love you this day. We adore you. We appreciate you, Lord. We magnify you this day. Hallelujah. We humble ourselves before, before you, you this God. day. We know, Lord God, Jesus, that you are able to do all things we thank exceeding you for this abundantly. Mighty we thank God, you, Lord God, the womb for this child, Lord God, and these two children that were dedicated to you, Lord God. We thank you for the we parents, thank you for this God, moment, for choosing Lord them God. We thank you for the parents, respectively, Lord God, young woman, for into taking this time world out to dedicate such these a time children as this. unto you. Hallelujah. Because they know the Such purpose, God, one. of your hand. Clean they slate. know the purpose of your direction God Almighty has been given upon them and upon their children. These parents. And, and so, so God right Almighty, now, God, in the name of Jesus, I present this oh, child God, before we you this morning. This child to you and by extension, Lord Jesus, I lift her these two up children you into your that hands, you Lord God. We'll put we a mark pray, upon oh God, her right now, hands God, that you will, will be upon her them, Lord God, in a very blood. mark way. Hallelujah. We pray that your covering God, will be upon them, Lord God. Right we now, pray, in Lord our God, that you preserve God their going out every and their prominence, Lord and God. Every stage. That before long, God these Almighty, children, Lord, will find a place in your kingdom and will do exploit. 
but for your God name. Set Protect right them now from diseases and sicknesses to guide and danger and, to nurture and mighty God. Oh God, every every the hand person of the enemy is trying at them. But we dedicate God them to you this will not choose to in the name of Jesus. God, but that will God, choose to bring up, Lord Jesus, them to nurture, way. to love Bless and them, to Lord. guide. Bless even parents. at school, Protect, God Almighty. Provide. Give Father, them a wisdom. Let them to nurture and to grow these children every in the fear of God, of life, that before that you will be they will not depart. That she will bless be them, Lord God, God and bless Almighty, those that, that she may walk in the in their life. Oh God all Almighty, the grandchildren, all the grandchildren, our grandparents, Jesus, I bless them, Lord God Almighty, our parents. We dedicate them, Lord, to you. We pull them from the sanctuary, mighty God. I pray, Father, that you will bless their parents even right now. Jesus, have your way right now. Thank you, Lord. Right now, God, Mother and Father, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ of Thank Nazareth, you. I present them before you, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, from the Jesus. crown of their head Hallelujah. down to the sole of their feet, God, Hallelujah. that the anointing right now will fall from heaven. Hallelujah, Hallelujah upon their lives, God Almighty. We, we back off every unwanted spirit right now lord jesus that have been assigned to destroy the purpose of this child in the name of jesus christ of nazareth have your way and let your perfect will be done in jesus name amen Praise God. Praise God. God which should bless you all. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, uh, let me repeat the names. There's Auckland, Matthew Robinson, and Skylar Harper, and Neva Nugent. Praise God. Praise God. Junior. Right. So the Auckland is Junior, young Auckland. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God, which you bless you. You may be seated. Amen.
we just invite the congregation to stand right now. Everybody, everywhere, if you're able to stand, let me invite you to stand. Amen. We have sung his praises. And come stand. Amen. You have to say to us, Hallelujah. I believe that there's a word in the house. And I believe that God has a word for us. Amen, amen, amen. Just lift your hands one more time. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without any further delay, I invite you to come and speak to us as he feel led our own bishop, Bishop Garfield Daly and the Holy Ghost. As he comes, Father, just bow your head. Father, we thank you right now, God, that you have prepared your servant with a word. We pray, mighty God, that you'll touch him right now, God, from the very crown of his head to the sole of his feet. We pray, God, that you cause him to speak today as of the living oracles of heaven. God, let him speak to every heart. Let him speak to every soul. Give us a word, mighty God, a rima word. Give us a word, mighty God, that will comfort our hearts. Go, oh, God, that will heal our souls. Oh, God, have it your own way in this aspect of the service as we give you thanks right now in Jesus' name. And let the church say in Jesus' name. Praise God. And can we praise the Lord, everybody? Can we praise the Lord? Everybody. Amen. Is the Lord a good God to you? Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. Amen. He is worthy to be praised. I want to just ask Brother Vaimonte, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Come give us a quick greeting. Amen. In the name of the Lord, we, a lot of you don't even know Brother Vaimonte, and he has visited us at a time when a storm was passing, and, but come greet us. Amen, in the wonderful name of Jesus. And then I'm going to ask Brother Carl just to come give us a shout praise, a quick greeting also. He was a, just a quick one. You know, he has been away for a little while and he's back again. Go ahead first, Brother Vimonte, in the name of the Lord. You can come right up to the front. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Praise God. Glad to see my brother and my sister in the midst. Praise God. Long time we've seen him. But thanks be to God for the victory. Bible says, no are he quickened. Praise God in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Yes. Thanks be to God who has given us a victory. Yes. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes. For we know through him we are more than conquerors who him but love us. Yes. He gave his life to redeem us. Yes. He shed his blood that we might have the salvation. We might have redemption. We might have peace. To, who, who can stand before God? Who can stand before God? But oh God is king who is coming again with, with power and might. Glory to God to reign, praise God, upon this earth. Glory to God. To God be the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord another time. God is a good God. I thank God for being here. Even though I was absent for a few months, but God is still a good God. I really miss church. I only could get it to peace when it was online. And it is not as nice than when you are here in person. Continue to pray for me, and I'll do the same for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Can we praise the Lord, everybody? One more time, give a shout of praise. One more time, give a shout of praise. And if the Lord has been good to you, put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. There's an old chorus that said, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. I wonder if we could stand up and sing. Well, it's raining already, but you know, you better get ready. You better get right. You know, the Lord, just as I was coming up this morning, it was just fitting and hit my mind and my heart. And somebody need to know that the God of heaven, who is a good God, we need to understand that he's also, amen, a consuming fire. Amen. And we need to be reminded 
and to be warned that we must not take God for granted. Amen. He's good. He's gracious. He's awesome. Amen. Merciful and loving. But anyway, he is a consuming fire. And we need to remember that. It's going to rain. Let's sing. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. You better get ready. You better get right. God showed now a, a rainbow sign. He said no more water but fire next time. It's going to rain. Yes. It's going to rain. You better get ready. You better get right. Get right. You better get right. God showed now a, a rainbow sign. You said no more water. Do your time. Do your time. It's gonna rain. Oh yeah. It's gonna rain. You better get ready. Yes. Now I cried out. It's gonna rain. We need that verse afterwards. It's gonna rain. That's a part of the Oh, 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 you better get right. God showed now a rainbow sign. A rainbow sign. He said, No more water, but fire next time. Knocked on the window. They knocked on the door. They cried out now. Can you take it some more?
saints of God. Amen. From the book of St. Matthew. Amen. We're reading Matthew chapter number 24. Matthew chapter number 24, reading from verses 37 to 39. Amen. Matthew 24, 37. To 39 praise God but as the days of Noah were so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be for as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of the son of man be I'm going to read those verses again. Verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. You may be seated. There is a deception in our world, a deception among humankind. This deception has been perpetrated by Satan himself to make people believe that all is well even in a time of great danger. There is this cloud over the eyes and the mind of people all around. If you recall in the pandemic, when folks recognized how serious it was, everybody pulled back and everybody started to take it serious and everybody was saying, the end is upon us. But no sooner than the pandemic lifted a little bit, then the party bells started to ring again. No sooner than they heard that people were dying like flies again, everybody who was calling on God who ran out of the parties and ran into church turned again to the parties because things are back to normal and so we can get back to doing the good old thing and living in the good old way, so they say. There is that deception that makes people feel that if they're in church and they do anything and everything and nothing happens, then it means that everything is all right and we must just continue as we are. But I want us to mash down that deceptive lie this morning and understand that there is something about God that many have forgotten but you need and we all need to be reminded of. God is a God of love. 
God loves us so much. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, should not die, but should have everlasting life. The love of God, one writer says, so rich and pure, so measureless and strong, it shall forever more endure and they started to write this what the writer said if i was a writer i would take a pen and if the ocean was ink i would put that pen in the ocean and if the skies were parchment i would dip the pen in the ocean of ink and write the love of god on the parchment of the skies he went on to say that if when he started to write about the love of god the ocean which represents ink went dry and the, the, he wrote in the sky and the ink was finished you wouldn't start to tell how deep and how strong the love of God is there is something about the love of God it is deep, it is rich it is pure and it is strong and the good God of heaven has been speaking to humankind's heart and say I am the one that you must serve, I am the one that you must love I am the one that you must have door i am the one that made you you are not supposed to be fighting with me as to how to walk you're not supposed to be fighting me with me as to if you must serve god or you must serve the devil i made you from the dust of the earth when you turned away from me i came back and i've made you i redeemed you again i am the one that is keeping you alive i am the one that is taking you along life's journey i am the one that i've put breath in your body and day by day and with each passing moment sometimes you're sick and know you're strong i raise you up from sickness sometimes you're down and now you're up i am the one that caused you to rebound god is saying to somebody you have taken me for granted for too long and so we because of deception misunderstand the love of God and believe that because you can talk about his love and write about his love and he has extended himself to us for so long we can disregard God but because of his love for us he will never judge us because our God is too loving don't misunderstand mercy for weakness don't misunderstand love for weakness don't misunderstand long suffering for weakness that deception is around that makes people believe because god has not struck them dead he loves you of course he loves you but i want you to know something about god the god that we serve he is love and he is merciful and he is long suffering and he is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to life i stand here this morning to tell you that the God of heaven who represents love, who is love he is also a consuming fire, he will burn you he will hurt you he will destroy anywhere that sin is oh somebody praise the Lord I want this congregation to understand, I want those who are listening to understand that the God of heaven is a God of love but the God of heaven is also a God of judgment he's a God of justice and when God's time come it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter where you are judgment is going to fall and we are going to find that those who believe that God don't judge people it was a deception that came from hell and it's going to be too late but I stand here this morning before this pulpit and before this people to declare as a prophet in the house that the God of heaven is a serious God. The God that we serve, he may seem to take long to do what he's doing. The wheel of justice might seem to be going around slowly, but I'm telling you somebody, it's coming around and your number soon will be called. Your name soon will come up before God and your day of judgment 
moment your day of reckoning on this land is going to come don't believe that you're going to be here forever your time is coming even before the trumpet of god sounds you have an appointment with death don't be fooled into believing that because you're good and you're nice and you're pretty and you're handsome and you look good god is going to bypass you god is looking at you and no matter how pretty you look it's dirt you come from no matter how handsome you look it's dirt you come from which dirt the dirt the dirt that god used and framed the man and formed him the bible says from the dust of the earth and then it is only after god blew into his nostril that he became a living soul so when man started to move it wasn't the dust it was the breath of god that caused us to move and to have our being but we are still dust we are still from the dirt when we die we disintegrate we break down we smell bad and we go back to the earth there is a deception from the devil to cause people to believe that because you have a degree and because you have a big job you have arrived but i want to tell somebody that is watching me somebody that is hearing me you have not arrived until you have found the love of god until you have received the love of god until you have embraced the love of god you are just dirt moving around with the breath of god inside of you i stand here this morning to tell you i stand here this morning to declare that it is going to rain judgment upon some folks if you have not called upon the lord if you have not bowed your knees if you have not submitted to god if you have not repented of your sin beautiful flesh and your soul will die i stand this morning to mash down that deception that it is well with you it is not well if you don't have god it is not well if you're not living for him it is not well if you are living a wretched life it is not well if you are living a double life it is not well and judgment is around the corner oh somebody somebody need to know ah oh, somebody need to know this is for sinners and saints alike this is for born again and those who have not been born if you don't serve god with your whole heart and soul and life and strength and body judgment is coming somebody better believe it the bible tells us in the book of genesis that noah and his family and others were around and they were serving god but after a while the sins of the people overtook the righteous deeds and the righteousness of those that were serving the living god those that call upon the name of the lord better be careful every time that we walk with god and the unsaved and the sinful influences of the world pulls you away we better be careful and if you believe that god is going to live with what you have to offer we need to be careful what happened is that cain and abel and we know the story well and the seed that went on they are turned away from god and they were living in sin the bible said at a certain time adam and eve came together again and they had a son called seth and when seth was born then man began to call again on the name of the lord men again began to serve the living god men again began to worship god but as time went on the influence of the cain line came over and trouble those who were of the Seth line. And so those who were spiritual and were walking with God started to pull away from their ardent, hot, personal, passionate walk with Almighty God. And God sent a word later on to to know and say i've looked across the world i've looked across the land i've looked across the spectrum and i find that the men's heart are wicked continually i have surveyed everywhere around and even those that were from the line of set from the lineage of set they have allowed the influence of the line 
of Cain to disturb their holy walk with God. And God looked around and saw after a while that even those that used to call his name were now living according to the lineage and to the lifestyle of those from the children of Cain. They had infiltrated the holy people and they had brought them to a place. When God looked around and surveyed the place, he said, nobody was calling on me except you Noah and your wife and your three sons and their wives. Few people in a whole world of people. You think God free to mash down everybody else and save a few that call upon his name? We need to understand the God of heaven. There are folks around that preach and folks around that teach and fool people into believing that at all costs, God is going to lift you up to heaven and he's going to put you in the suite by and by irrespective of how you live, irrespective of how you walk, irrespective of how you talk. But I mash down that lie this morning in the name of Jesus you better call on the name of the Lord God of heaven and having called on him we better live a righteous and holy life somebody praise the Lord if you agree with me praise the Lord if you disagree you better praise the Lord because this Bible Genesis tells us in about chapter 6 that God no looked and decided you know what God said he repented me that I, that I made man and put him on the earth. He knew what he was doing, but he, was, he had enough. So the same God who looked around and said that it is good, the same God that looked around and looked at his creation and said it is good, and everything was good, the same God that now turned around and said, it repented me that I have made man on the face of the earth. And he spoke to Noah and said, Noah, listen to me now. I'm going to do a thing that you have never heard about. I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to destroy. I'm going to rain down judgment upon the earth. Listen to me, but I'm a merciful God. So hear me. Build me an ark. It's a massive structure. Go about and build it. Go about and as you build, I want you to preach to the people. I want you to tell them, turn to God. But as you build, whether they turn or they don't turn, um, this is me talking keep on building because something is going to happen and nothing will stop the hand of God you better understand that we cannot stop the hand of God when he is raining out judgment and fire when brimstone and persecution and pressure is going to come as the judgment of God none of us can stop his hand because he is so merciful and he has extended it for so long and so he said, Noah, I want you to build the ark. I want you to preach to the people. And Noah preached week after week. He preached day after day. He preached month after month. He preached on and on. And some folks say, you have been preaching this thing from I was a little child hearing this. But that is not long yet. Noah was preaching this thing for a hundred and odd years and never stopped. But listen to me. The Bible said, when that 120 or whatever amount of years it was came, the Bible said, on the self same day, at a certain time, because we need to understand that God has an appointed time, and that appointment is sure, that appointment is certain. And he said, Noah, keep on preaching. Even if they don't believe, keep on preaching. Even if they don't come, keep on preaching. Because the word of God must go out and no flesh will be able to stand up and say, God is an unjust judge. So keep on preaching. And Noah preached and he preached. But even though people were not taking heed, Noah was building. Noah was building the ark. Neil went to Neil board upon board the ground floor the first floor the second floor the building was going on but no one didn't stop building because people were mocking no one didn't stop building because people did not respond this is not about noah this is not about man this is about the living god somebody praise the lord in the house and so they built he built he built he built and nobody would come so god said okay man who are made wouldn't come listen to me 
but get two donkey. God said, listen to me, but get two skunks. God said, listen to me, go get two mules. Go get two of this and two of that. One male and one female. I want you to understand if we turn our backs on God, uh, God have a way. You know, there's a scripture that said, if, the, if you don't praise me, if you don't cry out, the rocks are going to cry out. Something is going to have to praise God because he's a great God. He's worthy to be praised. He's high and lifted up and he is to be magnified. And so no man wanted to come into the ark to walk with God and God sent for the animals and God sent for the birds and God sent for the fowls of the ear and God decided that he was going to wipe man off the face of the earth. They wouldn't believe it. They wouldn't accept it. It sounded strange. It sounded stupid. It sounded unbelievable. But we need to understand that the God that we serve, he has something about him that we must not misunderstand. Yes, he loves you. Yes, he is long-suffering. Yes, he will take long to pronounce judgment. Yes, it will go on for a while. Ten years, twenty years, thirty years. But Satan will use that to fool us to believe that you see there in not going to nothing. But when you think it's peace and safety, one after a sudden, sudden destruction, whoop, and something happened. You don't even have to wait for judgment day, which is the day appointed. You can have your judgment right on the land, right here, right now. Sometimes judgment come to you, saints of God. Sometimes judgment judgment come to you sinner that you wouldn't even believe and understand that it is the hand of God the Bible says he that is often reproved and continues to stiffen his neck shall find that he suddenly cut off and that without remedy there is something about God and people don't preach these scriptures because they feel that it is too harsh it doesn't represent God I don't want to tell you a lie to make you believe that it is all right when it is all wrong if you don't have God and if you're not living for him if you're not serving him in spirit and in truth it is all wrong and judgment is knocking at your door We don't trick up people in this church. We don't fool up people in this place. We tell you the truth in love. Sometimes we sing love songs to God and to you. And we say come to the altar. And we don't mention judgment. It doesn't mean that judgment is not real. But then if we don't mention judgment sometimes. You leave and feel that God will never judge so today is a day when we talk about judgment and we understand that God is a just God and where sin is, he is going to move. So God now spoke to Noah and said, put them in. And after they went in after a hundred and odd years, God now put them in. And they were about to close the door and God said, leave it open. Seven more days. More mercy more mercy leave it open a little longer after 100 and odd years and you're preaching the same thing god said leave it open one little bit longer such love that god should love a sinner such as i how wonderful is love like this but then they were in waiting on god waiting one day nothing happened two days nothing happened three days nothing happened the door was still open the, the steps were still down nobody came in four days the doors were still open the steps were still down nobody was coming what kind of crazy man is noah i wonder what he's expecting him build this big old monument and fill it up with chicken and 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 pig and goat and 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 cow and all what this man is mad yeah I like what they say you know some people say pastor mad elder mad the ministers they mad them the people they mad 
All them do is talk about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. No, I'm ma- fool, fool. Look how, much, look how much food on the land. Look how the place green. The Bible said, listen what was happening now in the days of Noah. According to the scripture, they were marrying and giving in marriage. They were having feasts. They were having parties. They were doing the good old stuff that they thought was living it up. And they were carrying on. And guess what? After 120 years, they were still carrying on. And then the door, God sent the others up and said, leave it open. Because if you shut it. So God said, no, Noah, listen to me now. Take your wife. Take your three sons. Take their wives with the animals and go in the ark. Me not going to ask you to shut the door. Because when judgment comes, for your heart going to fail you. And you might go up your adventure, your heart fail you, and you're sorry for them. You're going to open the door. So God said, No, you just go in, go sit down. You have spent your time. You have lived with me. Go on in and take your rest in Zion in the ark. And Noah went in with his family. And they sat down. And therefore, the door was still open. And the steps were still down. Day five, day six. And the people were saying, Noah is a madman. But God have a way of justifying his people. God has a way of showing that his people are not fool fool. God will allow them to be justified in the eyes of men. And we will see only that it will be too late that we were right after all. Because when day seven came and the day was full and everything was at the place where it should be at the self same moment an invisible hand pushed the door push up the steps close the door boom and the door was locked and all of a sudden lightning and thunder rain start to fall all of a sudden the bible said the fountains of the deep the rivers the underground water supplies burst open and water was coming from above and water was coming from beneath and water filled the earth the bible said all of a sudden the ship started to go up the ark started to go up and the rains came down and the rain came from below the, the, the waters came from below and the earth was inundated with water i can just imagine in my mind's eye that when it started to get rough some strong men came and start tear down the door i said no open the door and then take the crowbar and start to try to tear it down but it's, if it was just noah improbable would have turned the case say, quick some of your own come in but when god the same god of love the same god of mercy the same god that is long suffering you see when him locked the door which man can open it when god closed the door nobody bad man done can open it your favorite president of the united states can open it when god closed it queen elizabeth can open it you see she dead my god we will die and as powerful as we are we going pass away we are but flesh so when god close it no man can open it for you and the bible said that the rains came and 40 days and 40 nights it poured it poured it poured and judgment was on the face of the land and every living soul died wiped them out judgment came and the god that we believe is a god of love reigned judgment on the face of the earth you are here today the bible said as it was in the days of noah is the same way it is going to be in the day of the son of man we're preaching and we're telling you that Jesus is coming. And you laugh and you scoff and you say, it's foolishness you're talking. From I was a boy, I hear that. From I was a girl, I hear that. From we were little in prep school, we hear that. 
and Jesus can't come yet. You leave me, let me live my life. I'm too young. I'm too fresh. I'm too green to tie myself down into the church. Oh my God. We are in the church. We that are in the church, we are not tied down. We that are in the church, we are not in bondage. We that are in the church, we are free. I am free. The writer said, praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. If you are in the church of the living God, you are free. If you are in the church of the living God, your chains have fallen off. If you are in the church of the living God, you're a royal priesthood. You're a holy nation. You're a peculiar people. Oh, you are not ordinary. You are extraordinary. You are blessed. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. This is not for everybody. This is to the redeemed. This is to the blood washed. This is to those with a relationship with God. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. One writer, take it and make it deeper than that. The writer of the song say, what him say? Goodness is running after me. My God, I'll let him, if him go to a corner and trying to hide from goodness and mercy. And him come when him reach here, so it run here, so waiting on him. This belongs to the saints of the living God. I am glad that I'm in the church. I am glad that my God is Jesus. I am glad that I am born again. I'm glad that I'm looking to the hills from whence cometh my help. Masanda Bahaya. Oh, glory to God. I'm glad. As it was in the days of Noah, as I prepare to wrap up, so shall it be at the time the coming of the Son of Man. What was happening? They were laughing at Noah. They were marrying and giving in marriage. They were having a good time. And those of the seed and the lineage of Seth, was overwhelmed and overpowered by the lineage and those of the seed of Cain. Instead of living for God, they allowed themselves to be deceived. And instead of gladly declaring that I'm a child of God, they want to declare they're arguing with God. God, why? 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 But I want you to know this is not the time to be if and butting if God is a God of judgment. This is a time that you better just accept the word and understand that God is going to come and judge this earth one more, this world one more time. The problem is it won't be by water this time but when judgment come, when the real judgment come, when we stand at those that didn't make it in the rapture, those that were not in the church, the Bible said another book was open and listen to me there are some folks that are going to stand before the judgment of Almighty God. The books were open, and then another book. And my God, it is now the white throne judgment. The God of the universe that men have rejected. The God of the universe which men have pushed aside. The God of the universe that you have taken for granted. The God of the universe who is a God of love. You are going to see a different God at that time because men will start have their knees knocking together. Strong men, mighty men, kings. Can you imagine? Do I see a little clip the other day, brethren. The king, the new king, shaking some people and and him reach a little man and him and probably never clean but him reach the man and him just pass him and gone to some other people because of that man i don't know if it's because him and dirty or if it's because you know him him not a certain complexion but kings and earth powerful can disappoint you you know and make you feel like nothing but listen to all these mighty men all these mighty women they're going to stand before god one day and we're going to see that flesh is nothing because when god looked through the book and the name not in the book of life my god and you stand before that judgment seat that white throne judgment on that day when the question is asked give an account of your life 
why have you rejected the sacrifice that I have made? I want to see if the big judge, um, which judge, which barrister, which lawyer, which queen's counsel, which king's counsel can stand to defend you before Almighty God. When you call the big name lawyer and say, quick, quick, come defend me, you can't find him. Because him round the back I tremble. And I say, when me going to tell God, say, him now have no time to defend you. Him going to try to defend himself. And him cannot defend himself. Brothers and sisters, that day is coming. Brothers and sisters, that day is coming. And this is the morning to remind us that the God of love is also a consuming fire. This is the day to remind us uh, that the God of mercy is also a consuming fire. Almighty oh, God. And he's calling men to turn around, bow their knees while the blood run it warm in your vein. Ah, oh, the writer say, you better get salvation down in your soul while the blood run it warm through your vein the deception is this as I close you will hear a word like this and you will be stirred or stirred while you are in the sanctuary but let me tell you something about Satan right now you see right over in that empty space you see, as you start going down the steps, you see, as you reach the bottom of the step and heading to your car, watch out. You might get a call. Remember the party next week, Friday. And all of a sudden, you forget this message. It is a deception. It is Satan trying to pull away from you what you have just heard. But I pray over your souls this morning. I pray over the church this morning. That you will allow this simple word to permeate your system. And go through your minds and resonate within your heart. So that you will make a decision. Once and for all. To bow your knees to the living God. And serve him. Serve him. Serve him. Those that are in the church. That we will recognize who we are. And whose we are. And don't make the seed of Cain. Disrupt you. In your walk. With almighty God. Don't make no mistake about it. None of us can fool God. None of us can fool God. None of us. Every man, saints of God, every man in this place. Leaders, do your work as leaders. You're here for a reason. Don't leave your position. Don't leave your place. Don't leave your seat. Stay right here. Saints of the living God, don't walk out of the ship. Don't leave the ship. The ark that Noah was building represents the church that we are in today. And the church, like the ark, will very shortly be going up and up and up. Oh, hallelujah. And we will soon be gone. I beg somebody in the house this morning who don't know the Lord. Ah, don't be like the men and women of old. But be like Noah and his family. Be like Noah's, wife, Noah's children wives who followed their husbands and went in the ark and found out that after all, Noah was right. They eventually found out, you know. But they found out when it was too late. And mercy gone hallelujah we are in the house for such a time as this it is not by chance that you came in spite of the rain you know it's this morning at 
7.15 or 7.10 there about. We decided that we're coming in the house. Because we could have the service online. Then we wouldn't see you. We wouldn't see you. And you and you and you. You know, this is just few people that are here. It's not chance. It's not buck up. It is God's will that it be like this. It's while I was coming that this word dropped in my heart. I saw the rain and I said, God, I wonder if anybody going to come to church. And then the song started to ring and then the scripture came and said, this is the word. Somebody had to hear this. And if we were online, you wouldn't hear it. Probably because you're not normally tuned in. So this is a word for you. Oh, hallelujah. I stop right now. And I open these altars. Masanda Bahaya. Bolo Bosanda. Habasanda. Hallelujah. I open these altars. The ark's door is open right now. And the steps are down. Will you make a decision to serve God? Judgment is coming. Will you make a decision? Don't look at your friend. Don't look at your neighbor. Don't scroll down the screen to see how many folks are on. No. This is personal now. This is you and God alone. Make that decision. While the blood runneth warm in your vein. While the blood runneth warm in your vein. We'll go a little slow with it. You better get salvation. Yes. Down Come on, everybody, let us stand. While, while the, the blood, blood runneth warm. Let's go slow with it. While the blood. While the blood. Yes. Warm in your vein. Yes. While the blood. Runneth Anybody. Warm in your vein. You don't have the spirit of God. You need to be saved. You Doesn't take long. Want us to pray for you. Down come. Your come. Soul. Just come. Just one word of prayer. Just one word of encouragement. Don't let the moment pass. Why the blood runneth war. Those that are online, make a decision for God right now. You never know when judgment is coming to your doors. You never know when judgment is going to knock on your gates and your door. Make it right with Almighty God. Oh, while the blood runneth warm in your vein. While the blood yes. runneth warm in your vein. You better get salvation. Down in my soul. Down in your soul. Yes. While the blood runneth warm in your veins. Oh, while the blood runneth warm in your veins. Oh, while the blood runneth warm in your veins. Just before you sing it again, sing us. Amen. You have heard the word. Amen. I believe a word straight from heaven. Amen. And I believe that the Lord did speak today. You know, you might be contemplating right now, you know, whether you should come up. You know, you don't really want anybody to see you. I know. 
I was in the same position. But listen to this. If you have not yet repented of your sins, if you are not baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of those sins, if you have not yet received the infilling of the Holy Ghost, I am going to implore you to come to the altar. This is about life and death, not just physical death, but this is about eternal damnation. This is about your soul. If you're saved, that is good. If you're saved and you need prayer, I'm going to invite you to, you know, just come. But if you're not saved, I own the altars. I'm pleading with you, Jen. Yeah, I, I know. I was in the same position. If you need prayer, just somebody to just rest their hands on you and pray. The altars are hope. All right. Check it. Take it that everybody else is all right. Let us go again, singers. While the blood runneth warm in your veins. While the blood runneth warm in your veins, you better get salvation down in your soul. While the blood runneth warm in your veins, while the blood runneth warm in your veins. Down in your soul While the blood runneth warm in your veins While the blood runneth warm in your veins While the blood runneth warm in your veins You better get salvation down in your soul while the blood runneth warm in your veins oh it's gonna rain it's gonna rain you better get ready you better get right Showed now a, a rainbow sign. No more water, but fire next time. Oh, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. You better get ready. You better get right. God showed now.
and waiting for you willing and able to see you through reach out and touch him he knows what to do i'm here to tell you he's waiting for you can we praise the lord everybody can we praise the lord everybody i want everybody if you can come a little closer we're very few in number right if you can come a little closer right we don't have much person at the altar but you know we're going to reach out to god for us you know or for even family members you know just just come a little closer just come a little closer we're going to worship god and give him all the glory and all the honor and all the praise amen everybody just come a little closer. Just step out of your seat, man. Come on, we won't be here much longer, you know. Just come a little closer. Amen, everybody? And just worship with us as we minister in song. You're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus is watching and, and waiting for you. Willing and able to see Reach out and touch him. He knows what to do. And I'm here to tell you, he's waiting on you. Hallelujah. He has a rest. He has a rest. Oh! 
Praise God. Let's bow your heads as I dismiss us in prayer. Praise God. Praise God. Great God, we thank you, God, today for your word. Your word is spirit and your word is life. It says, where we talk, shall a young man cleanse his ways but by taking heed to the word of God. God, we thank you that one more time you were able to talk to us in mercy and you were able Lord God to give us one more opportunity one more chance so in that day we cannot say we did not hear from you I pray this morning God for every heart that is in the house this morning I pray right now God for every person who is online every person who will hear this word Help us, Lord Jesus, not to be hearers of your word. But as we look into the perfect law of liberty, hallelujah. Help us, Lord Jesus, to apply to our lives and not to leave and forgetting what manner of man we are. But to be doers of your word. I pray right now, God, that our hearts will not be like the stony ground where the enemy will come and steal the word from us or like the thorny ground where the things of the world will choke the word oh god or the sun will scorch the word but help us lord to have good ground good soil that this word that was ministered this morning will find a place in our hearts God, we submit ourselves to you. We repent one more time. We ask you, God, one more time to wash us and to cleanse us and to make us clean. We pray, God, for every unsaved. No man can come to God except your spirit draw them. And we know, God, you're pulling them by your spirit. Like you did with the church of Laodicea. You stand at the door and you are knocking. And if any man will hear, God, you will come in and you will sup with them. God, help them, Lord Jesus, to realize the deception of the enemy. To think that they are going to live to see tomorrow. To live that they're going to see the next hour. The next two hours from now. Hallelujah. But help us to realize that now is the acceptable time. Ha. And today is the day of salvation. If any man hears his word, we must harden not our hearts. Oh God, we thank you, God, for our bishop who delivered this word continue Lord just to inspire him continue Lord to, to be in his mind and his heart continue to lead him as he we follow him as he follows you we ask you one more time to have mercy upon every person here one more time and I pray God that you'll continue to pull persons God help us Lord not to be foolish and to boast ourselves of tomorrow for we don't know what a day will bring forth Oh God, let this word be with us as we leave this house today. Hallelujah. Let this word be our watchword and our song. Let it be a forefront of our mind that it's going to rain. That judgment is coming. Oh, hallelujah. We must be ready in this season and in this time. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday or the day before, last week. What matters the most is that we find a place where our heart is washed in the blood of the Lamb. For you did say, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. God, we know judgment is coming. Well, wash us in the blood one more time. Wash us in the blood one more time. Cleanse us. Oh God, hallelujah. And if it seed fit, God, Jesus, that we should come back another time. Or you see it fit that we should not even live to see another time. Help us, Lord Jesus, that when the trump is sound, oh God, that we shall be in Christ. For it's only the dead in Christ that will rise first. And they that are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the cloud. And so shall we forever be with God. 
Thank you one more time for the word again, which is spirit, which is life. Your word, which changes hearts and changes minds and changes direction. Your word will set us straight. Your word which judges us. And God, if we don't, don't take heed, the same word that we hear this morning is going to judge us in the last day. Thank you one more time, Holy Ghost, for what you have done for what you're about to do in our lives as we look to you king jesus the author the finisher of our faith thank you choice thank you jesus thank you jesus touch every saint here one more time as we're about to leave guide and protect us on our way home and help us lord jesus to keep this word in our hearts that we might be ready 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 for any hour now the trump of god is going to sound any hour now, we're getting ready to be thrown out of this earth. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy one more time. In the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name. Can we say, in Jesus' name? Can we say, in Jesus' name? In Jesus name. Praise God. It's a solid word this morning. I don't know about you. But when God sent Noah, Jonah to Nineveh, he expects a response. What's most important is that he sent a word. And this is the word that is going to judge us. So let us take heed to the word today. God bless you. Greet each other. In Jesus' name. Let me say something on it quick. All right. Praise God. Praise God. God. Amen. Next week, Sunday. Next week, Sunday evening. Uh, just to put us on notice from today, the Faith Majestic Temple, amen, uh, the, our sister church along Spanish Town Road, they will be having uh, the beginning of their missions convention, amen. Our choir will be ministering and we are going to be having a, a, a bus or two, of a few buses if needs be. We want our saints to be in full support amen of our sister over there amen along spanish town road so god bless you and just bear it in mind that we are after church next week we go home and we prepare to be a part amen of the missions convention of faith majestic temple buses will be provided make make no other plans saints but to be there to support them Amen. In a full way, in a fulsome way, in the name of the Lord. And then mission, uh, sorry, communion. Amen. We should be having communion. We are going to confirm. So we are going to get back to you, saints, in, on the specific day. Amen. It's going to, because today is the last Sunday in the month of september so it's going to have to be october we will get back to you to confirm the date for our communion service amen so god bless you next week in the evening over to faith majestic temple and then our communion service is coming up listen